Hello everyone. Um, it is Christmas Eve morning or um, almost afternoon um, and I just thought I would take a minute to show you guys what I've been up to lately. Um, I have a little bit of a haul video and um, some of the cards that I made for this holiday season. I thought that I would show you some of those as um, as well. So let's go ahead and get to the holiday cards that I made this year. This is just a few of them. Um, as some of you know, I love House Mouse designs by Ellen Jarecki. Um, and so I used a lot of her designs this year for my Christmas cards. Um, here's the first one. This is called um, Pause to Warm. I don't know if you can see this. It's got the two mice hugging the light bulb um, ornament. So here's the version that I made of this. I <clears throat> just colored it in with colored pencils on this one and then I accented some of the parts with glitter. Um, so I, th I think that this one turned out really cute. Um, so there's that one. I also made this one's called Gifts Galore, and this is a pretty big stamp, but I had fun coloring in all of these, and here's the version that I made. Again, highlighting the um, gifts and things that I wanted with um, <coughs> glitter. I think that turned out pretty cool, too. Uh, then another card that I made, this one is called Reindeer Games. This one is quite a large stamp. Let's see if that helps any. This one's quite a large stamp, and it's got the little, um, it's Mud Pie and Monica, and it's got the little mouse um, as a sled and a walnut shell um, with the bigger mouse using the twigs for the reindeer antlers. I thought that was too cute. So here's the version that I made of this. <coughs> And they used the berries from the tree as a reindeer nose. Of course, I had to highlight that with some glitter. And these two, this one's called um, Pine Cone Tree. And I have a mix of the Wood Mountains Wood Mountain stamps and the Clean Mountain stamps for the house mouse. Um, <clears throat> they both stamp the same. The cling stamps are just a little bit easier to store because they're not as big. Um, but here's my version of the pine cone tree. And I highlighted the berries and glitter that he was stringing around the pine cone for his Christmas tree. I highlighted that in glitter and just did some glitter on the leaves as well um, so that it looks like snow on there. So there's one. There you go. You can see that looks like snow. And then one of the last ones that I was able to do this year is called Gingerbread House. And this is again another wood mounted stamp. Um, both of them are pretty large. This one is also highlighted with glitter. And I did the glitter on the little gumdrops and jelly beans and the peppermint candy canes just to highlight that sparkle um, and whimsy of a Christmas card. So those are the few Christmas cards that I was able to make this year for the house mouse designs. Um, if you like, I could post a tutorial on how I did that, how I colored them in, how I was able to add um, different shading effects with the colored pencils. Um, I can end that for you as well. On to the haul video. I was so excited to get these. Um, these are just a few of the Stamping Bella stamps of the girl. Um, and these will be in an upcoming tutorial video for coloring cards, etc. This one is called um, Uptown Girl Winona Loves Winter. And then it's got the little sentiment Warm Winter Wishes. And most of these Stamping Bella stamps now, they come on a, um, a blue cling-mounted stamp. 
Um, so these are all pretty large too. So there's that one. I also have Uptown Girl um, or Uptown Couple, Emily and Ryan, under the umbrella. So I thought that would be cute for like a uh, wedding shower um, or an anniversary type card. And this one has um, a few of the sentiments on it too. Um, so there's that one. I have Uptown Girl Bubbles Loves Her Bubbly. And I just thought this was too cute for um, kind of what I want to use it for is like a spa day with the girls and send them all out a handmade card inviting them to an afternoon spa day. So again, that one's pretty large too. This one is called Uptown Girl Audrey Loves Makeup. And the quote on it says, For beautiful eyes, look for the good in others. For beautiful lips, speak only words of kindness. And for poise, walk with the knowledge that you are never alone. So there's that one. And this one I thought was too cute. Um, it's Uptown Girl Opal the Optimist. And she's got her champagne glass in there. And it says, may your glass always be half full. And this one is a taller stamp. But still, I love the curly hair um, on the girl. I think that'll be fun to color. Or even, um, you know, cut out the dress and use different pattern paper to do that as well. Probably color this in with Copics or colored pencils. I'm not sure. I guess we'll find out at the time. Um, we have the time to relax is when you don't have time for it. Um, and this is called Uptown Girl Riley Loves to Relax. So I just thought that was cute for like a Sunday afternoon, lounging back in a chair. She's got her cup of champagne or wine. Um, so there's that one. I also have Uptown Girl. Caitlin loves a cupcake party, or Caitlin has a cupcake party. Um, I thought that'd be cute for a birthday. Um, she's got a table full of cupcakes, so I'm excited to color those. And this one is Uptown Girl, Sunny is Stylish. It says, some days you just have to create your own sunshine. Um, I think those are pretty good words to live by <laughs> in the hectic lives of everybody during the holiday season. Uh, this one is Uptown Girl, Faith the Fairy. And it says, we all have the power to make wishes come true as long as we keep believing. Um, so I thought that one was cute as well. This one is Uptown Girl, Bianca has a big cake. Again, another good birthday type stamp. And these are the last ones that I got for Christmas. Um, this is Uptown Girl, Charlie Waits by the Chimney. And she's got her dress, dressed as Santa on top of the chimney waiting for Santa. I thought that was just so adorable. And then the last one is Uptown Girls, The Three Amigas. And it says, may your walls know joy, may every room hold laughter, and every window open to great possibility. Um, and they all are all dressed in a holiday themed um, attire. She's got the Santa hat. She's got some holly berries in her hair. So that one, that's the end of the Stamping Bella stamps that I have. Again, these will all show up in a video um, in the near future. And then I was at, um, I think I got these from either Tuesday Morning or TJ Maxx. I forget which one, but they had these 6x6 six six paper pads for $2.99 and they're by Momenta. Um, it doesn't say what the name of these sets are, um, but they all have really cute paper. I thought they would be cute for spring styled cards. 
and so I'll just flip through these really quick. Um, this one's more of like a blue pink paper pad and it's a thicker, it's a, it says it's a cardstock. It is a little bit thicker paper. Um, so I got that one and for $2.99 it was a steal for the 6x6 paper pads. This one is all of the paper pads that I was able to pick up that day are all by Momenta. Um, this one has more of a flower type bird whimsy paper. Um, I think these would be cute for some of the dresses on the Uptown Girl stamps. This one talks about best friends together, fabulous, attached at the hip. So I thought that'd be cute for like a birthday card for your best friend. Um, just different types of papers on this one. This one is, um, it's got like pinks and oranges and lime greens and different fun patterns. All of these really are so adorable. Um, you could use them for birthday cards, for everyday cards, use them, um, you know, in your scrapbooks. This one I kind of thought for a teenager type card. It's got more of the, um, like, peace, love, flowery doodles. This one says, friend, adore, inspire, give, unique. So I thought those were kind of cute. Um, this one is more of a butterfly type background pattern. Butterflies, polka dots different swirls. Very girly. Um, again, very cute. And then the last one that I was able to get was kind of a more jewel toned cardstock. It's got the dark purples, the emeralds, the uh, ruby colors. And I just thought this was a different type of paper pad. Um, so I'm excited, the jade color. So I'm excited to use all of them. Um, so I just wanted to share some of the things I've able to, I've been able to pick up lately, um, and share some of the Stamping Bella stamps and show you the house mouse cards that I was able to make this year. Um, so again, I want to wish everyone a very merry Christmas, and I cannot wait to get started creating on some of the new projects. Um, again, uh, feel free to subscribe to my channel, um, give us a thumbs up for the video, and we will see you in the near future.